Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Townseek. It's an exploration trading game uh, with a lovely, hyper-saturated art style uh, that just randomly showed up on my Twitter feed a little while ago and looked quite nice. So we're going to just dive right in and see what, uh, uh, see, I guess what the game is about. So this is a demo. It's fairly early in development, so that there's probably going to be a lot different between this and the full release. Uh, but it's available right now as part of the kind of next Steam Next Fest period. Uh, which I guess opened up a little early. It doesn't start for a week, but hey, doesn't stop me from playing some games. So, hey kiddo, what did you bring from across the world? Trade with town, town quests. Find the first lost pages. Get Meowsaville's lost page, Driplet lost page. We can also do, give a fellow shark a fin. Get two giant wheels, have zero to two. And sharks on vacation, visit the stone buddy. Can I get both of them? Okay, so it looks like you can grab both of those, and we already have that one. So it looks like it's kind of skipped an amount of the, um... It, it skipped an amount of the preamble and has just tossed us into the game. So, now we can take a look at what we can sell. We don't have too much in our inventory. So, portable video game, sells for 82, average 60. Sells for 42, average 25. Ah! This item is new to the town and gives rep points when sold. Uh, I'll sell a, a lunchbox. Okay. And we want anything that is green or has a good markup. The cloth is pretty good. How much money do I have? Three. Okay. Let's buy all of that. As long as I'm getting some amount of a profit, I don't think I need to care too much. Let's grab... Oh, I'm out of money. Well, that's fine. Should be good. We also have these. Use these to mine all sorts of minerals and fallen stars. And then, is this buyback? Because I think these are the things that I sold. Yeah, they are. All right, so let's take a look around. Why is there an exclamation mark? Or no, that's just how we interact. Right, what do we have here? Sand Sandcastle Crabdom. Crabs have... have Crabs have to rebuild the royal castle. Or a castle every... what? There's a lot of lore here. Well, alright. I guess that's just lore. Yes, yeah, so we have landmarks aplenty. Good boy, Park. Here we go. This looks like a city. There we go. Alright, so high in demand clownfish. Looking for these things. Currency. Currency. They have different currencies. Town, town quests. Okay. Giant wheels. Visit the chocolate river. And four flying crates. Ah, I can't take more. Okay, so what can we trade? Uh, so we can sell these. Small profit. Very small profit. A, a profit. Kind of across the board. I'm going to sell one of each of these except for the lunchbox. Because uh, that gives us an amount of money and we can take a look at things. This one has a really good markup. Yeah, bo both of these are kind of worth it. Ooh. Okay. But the tingling bells. Buy for 25. Average price is 40. So if I can find that. Let's go with that. Oh, it, wait, no, no, no. I still have some left. Okay, I think that's about all I can do. And we're just going to keep kind of wandering around. Oh. We get some farmer boots. So that's probably the floating uh, floating chest that we were told about. Oh, and we can just grab random trade goods while we're here. Drip lands are looking for goggles. Uh, well, that worked out. I think, we, I mean, we know potentially where to buy some more. Now, it doesn't look like they have any wheels, but do they have anything that has a good markup that I could potentially sell? Not overwhelmingly. Uh, fancy textiles. I can grab. And I can't do any more quests. Get the last page. Visit the stone bunny. We haven't even figured out where that is. And the cloudy zones we can't reach. At least at the moment. Captain Jawline might give me a compass after I get those pages. Okay. So it looks like we're a little limited on where we can go, at least for a little while. Uh, here's the thing, though. Turbo? 
Is this the stone buddy? No, this is the chocolate river. Didn't I, didn't I have a quest for the chocolate river? World map, ship custom, ship customization. Leave that for later. Journal, ocean of the skies. Quests. Okay, so we're done with this one. Still gonna find the stone bunny. And gotta find a bunch of, ch uh, bunch of wheels. Well, let's go to Burrow Bug and see what they've got. So I don't think I have too much I can sell here. And they have a different type of currency that I do not currently have available. Uh, ooh, that's worth it though. So it sells for 45. So the corn sticks are great. Great profits. And these plushies. There's only three of them. And they have a good resale value. Still haven't found any wheels though. Oh! Stone Bunny! Is there anything else? Maybe. Go back. Let's see if I can turn in a couple of these. Okay, town quests. Can I complete them? Ready to deliver. Deliver town quests. So I get some reputation and I get some money. So, Meowsville's lost page. Oh, so we have to go to Meowsville and Driplands. Got it. Well, that's a decent markup on the buns. What about the rest of these? Portable video game, kind of, sort of. Tingling bells, not bad. And then we also have the stone. That's just offload. Uh, let's see, fancy textiles. Oh wow, yeah, these are these are some deals. Still can't get the pickaxe yet, but that's fine. I'll live. So back to town hub, town quest. Got anything interesting? Because I still gotta find those, and the rest of the quests are currently not available. All right, so let's go over to Meowsville's, uh, which was up here. Okay, town quest. First and foremost. Uh, let's see. Done that. We can turn this one in and pop pop the flying crates and that'll get me some cotton hats. So where's the lost page? Maybe I just have to max up my reputation. So they've got the corn sticks which are still dang cheap. The tingling bells and the burgers. Which I'm just gonna buy in mass. Uh, let's see. Town quest again. So, gotta find the wheels and open five flying crates. That part's easier. I won't buff cat cave. I won't enter there. I mean, that's kind of fair. Pastel Falls. And this is Driplands. Ooh, high demand. The cat hats. Now, any of these have a good price? Average 40? Eh. I don't know if I have limited inventory space now that I'm looking at it at this. Maybe. Buy the fancy textiles. Buy that. What about these? Bubble maker? I'll buy a couple. If it'll let me. And unfortunately, can't really do too much with the drip lines at the moment. I do not have the income for it. Okay, there was one more down here though. Yeah. Is this town? Oh, but I can't do much with that because they have their own their own currency set up. Ah, oh, but maybe it's worth it. Let's see if they have anything useful. Because if I can make a trade here, if I can make any kind of trade here, it is very much worth it. I am. Stonking rich. If only I actually had anything that I cared to buy. Uh, I mean, there's the little bun plushes, which are worth it. Uh, I should probably not offload too much of this junk. But I might as well gain the rep reputation bonus. I can sell the lunchbox. Uh, let's see. Sell the donut. I might as well just kind of sell one of everything. But, yeah, can't do much with that at the moment. We'll get to it when we get to it. 
to go back. Wait, 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 wait. We want to go back here. Go back up to these guys. Or was it? No. Yes, it was. They wanted the... They wanted the bubble tea. Oh. Not a great profit margin, but let's sell the tingling b bells to grab those. Okay. Because I think these guys wanted bubble tea. Unfortunately, can't convert any of the currency. Yeah, they wanted bubble tea, so we're just gonna snag that and grab some more buns plushies. Oh. This went down a bit. Alright, cool. So that's about the extent of what I can get here. I like this. This is charming. It reminds me of sunless, uh, sunless seas and sunless skies, except for I don't hate myself. And I'm not currently incredibly sad. I mean, okay, they weren't that dire. But there was definitely a feeling of, like, general sadness playing those. Okay, pop pop, but we still haven't found any giant wheels. So while we're here, 66, 33, meh. 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 Guess I'll sell the boots. I don't think I can do too much here, markup wise. They do have all of the corn sticks and burgers, though, which are very worthwhile. Oh, I just gotta figure out more. It's fine. I'm assuming we get the lost pages by by doing big trades. Okay, high in demand. At least we've got these two. What about this? So 45. I'll do it. It's not amazing. Let's see. By the way, does this one have quests? Jackalope paintings. Oh. And visit Good Boy Park. Alright, those are good. Okay. So. Oh. Oh, that's how I get it. <laughs> I just had to go pick up the quest, which is like a thousand times easier than, than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so let's go over here for the, this one. I was assuming it was a reputation thing, but the answer is fish ten times. Get a fishing rod and fish ten times. Well, there's a fishing rod. It's a little expensive. Let's see. Sell the goggles. I mean, I'm just gonna take whatever profit margins I can get at this this point. Because I make more money by having tons of money and just buying low, selling high. The market is a little... Uh, I don't want to say limited. What was Good Boy Park? That's Buff Cat Cave. Good Boy Park. Looking at the dogs down there is enough to brighten your day. How do we fish? Look for a fishing spot. Oh, there's flying pigs. Okay, high in demand dirt. Hmm. But I need three of those. And the rest of these, oh yeah, they have dirt, but I can't do anything with it. So we'll leave that for later. Got a golden cat. Got one of these. Chocolate River. This chocolate is safe for the consumption of all species, even bunnies. I... This... This suspect fish burger. Oh, that's just... Weird. Fishing spot Atlantis. Empire is not exactly a secret that people are just shy. Oh wait, there it is. How does fish work? That's how it work. Okay, and unfortunately I have to fish like 10 times, so this is going to take a little bit, but that's okay. Moldy old book. I feel like I'm being judged whenever that happens. And a boot. Doesn't look like there's anything else I can do fishing-wise, so we're going to ignore it for the time being. 
Uh, well, I got the wrong kind of boot here. Do we have anything that sells well here? The cat statue. And the collars. And the mossy stones. I'm not even going to think about it too much. I'll just keep pushing our reputation up. And while I could do stuff with the jackalope painting, no. Let's see. So. What about the singing oyster? And the bubbles? Cool. Now let's, um. Let's avoid that one. One town for the time being. I know they have the jackalope paintings. So I'll try and grab those when I can. So I can't sell fancy textiles here. If I wanted to. The. Profit margins on it are not great. Not terrible, but not great. Okay, nope, still got a fish. Visit the Golden Forest. Cat's out of the bag. Uh, let's see. Can't take more. Well. Three journal quests, one to deliver. Ah. Okay. And not that one. So it does look like we can get more of these. Oh, what can we sell here? Oh, they like burgers. They really like burgers at the moment. Uh, so in that case, with that little windfall, let's go, let's go pick up some more. Grab all of those. Let's go back. Well, this is charming. It's a little simple. But it's more or less just capitalizing on uh, market trends and using it to using it. Let's see. I don't know to snag the best deal you as uh, the best deal that you possibly can. I I definitely would like to see a little bit more of it before I like really pass judgment. It feels like really dire. It's nothing, nothing so dire as that, but you know, just kind of trying to figure out uh, the merits of this game. It's great for a time waster. I'll give it that. Like playing this game definitely makes me feel kind of that that nice little dopamine aw feel, if that makes sense. All right, so we get some slime coats and the Dripland page, and we can deliver all of these. Uh, let's see, I don't think I want any of those town quests, though. And now we have a ton of money, so why don't we actually grab the pickaxe while we're here? Let's see, singing oyster. Let's grab all of those. Somebody's gonna want them. Go back to the sharks. I missed. The donuts, uh. Huh. All right, town quests. So these are in progress. Visit the Golden Forest. Still haven't done that. Get you silver. Oh, I, I can't take more side quests, apparently. Still. I don't even know where the Golden Forest is. But at least I can grab these random things out and around. You're no Golden Forest. That's Colossorama. Something about the art style. Oh, hello. Shark Depths. Shark Knight was founded here. It powers most of Shark Dwell's machines. So are we just like a shark person? I'm just going to assume the answer is yes. I don't see anything that looks golden foresty here. But, you know what I do need to do? Fish. There's the helper crab. Oh, it's so cute. I can't wait to sell it for money. Is that bird just carrying a dog off? I, I guess so. Okay, not only are these jewels shiny, they're also lightly scented. Oh, okay. So yeah, it looks like we can just do some mining. I appreciate that they, oh yeah, we are definitely a shark. I mean, beyond the shark blimp, which is kind of a giveaway. Uh, 
my cursor is also a shark fin. I don't know how I didn't notice that. Okay. I'll well, sell that. Ooh, golden carrots are worth a lot. I don't know what I just sold. It's probably fine. Okay, and they like these paintings. The rest of it, not so much so. But I have a lot of money. So I can just kind of buy things. Uh, I sold the heliumite, which, you know what, why not? Oh, I see. So we can get two mechanical legs, Klossarama, and two pyrite. We'll go with the mechanical legs, and it's raining slime. Because I, I can only do a little bit of mining. However, oh. Wait, wait, we do want to go back here. Because I still need to fish a couple more times before we're done with that quest. There we go. Clownfish. It's an actual clown. Sure. Why the heck not? I see unicorns in the fog. And plenty of seaweed. Where the heck is Shark Town? There it is. Okay, high in demand, a thing that I don't have. Sell the bubble makers. Sell the clownfish. The bubble tea sells pretty well here. As does the corn in the moment. The sharks be hungry is actually what I'm realizing looking at all of this. Well, good to know. Actually, these, these shark, sharks are voracious for, like, all of these things. I just cleared up my inventory. I am rich! Uh, and there are the two mechanical legs. A little overpriced, but I ain't complaining. Like, piranhas in a fishbowl. Okay, so I... Yeah, so I can only take two quests per location. Oh, that's got to be it. Yeah, so I can do one more. So we can visit the stone bunny, goldfish, copper. Uh, well, I might as well do this one, because I know where the stone bunny is, which makes this whole business a lot easier. There we go. Okay. Sharks on vacations, turn that one in. Yeah, the problem with get two copper or get a goldfish. Good reputation, not great money, but the big problem is it's just very inconsistent. Uh, you know, when I go mining, I don't know what I'm getting. It's not like it's a copper mine, it's just a generalized everything mine. That makes it a little tougher. Unless, of course, these are preordained, but I don't think so. I've seen a random smattering coming through. Not full random. Maybe? I mean, it could be full random. It's just we've seen some repeats. That whale, it feels like is laughing at me. Huh. You know, I know dolphins, I'm pretty sure, have kind of a sense of humor. I wonder if whales can find something funny. I... I want to know. Okay, so we want to go over here. We don't want to sell them. Deliver both of those. Okay, two pyrite. Get a lot of money. Let's see. Water crates, golden cat, cotton hat. gonna grab that one. I have no idea if that counts as a water crate. I'm not even sure what a water crate is. But at least we can turn this one in. And yeah, still haven't found the golden forest either. I'm wondering if to some degree we might actually be out of luck. No, nope, it ain't those things. People live in those boxes. Alright, well let's go back up here. Turn this quest in. Okay, explore onwards 
and oh, explore onwards and explore the demo at your own pace. Uh, okay, so we're doing we're doing that and visit Buffcat Cave. I have the rest of these we have to leave for later. Well, at least I know where Buffcat Cave is. Why does it smell like sweat? Oh, I know. All right. Easiest quests. Tourism. All right. Oversee coins. But unfortunately, a lot of these require things that I don't exactly have. Or reputation. They require reputation. I don't know, look. I am currently suffering from no brain syndrome. Today is my day off and boy am I taking it. Clown mushroom. Somebody in this dev team has an appreciation for clowns. Okay, so we're gonna be buy goggles and fabric. Let's go load up on everything cheap. Let's see. And I mean like everything. The burgers, the collars, the mice, these. Gosh, I have a lot of money. Friend crab. Hermit crab. Oh, he's got a full-on camper on his back. Of course. Alright, what can we buy from you? All of these. Luckily, the price doesn't change. Ooh, long banner. Visible from very far away. Sure, I've got the money for it. Now, can I just go wherever I want? Looks like it. Firewatch Witches. <laughs> you know, why not? There's the Golden Forest. Oh, All right, town. Minty Bear's Lake. The bear knows a trick or two about fishing. All right, and we have the mayor. Ah, oh, it's a human. What the hell? Be gone. Creature. Okay, and they sell these things. Well... Might as well buy a whole heck of a lot of boots. And I can also take on some quests. Barracuda, Chocolate River. I mean, that's always easy. Are these gummies? Gummies. Okay, well, in that case... Yeah. Really, I'm just out of... Dosh. Are we done with your quest? Okay, I think I'm going to ignore the other ones. Alright, uh, let's keep wandering around a little bit more. It's a cute game. Egg. Egg. <laughs> sure, why not? It's a cute game. There's not a whole lot going on for it. It looks like we're kind of limited here. I, I don't mean that derisively so much as like, if you're looking for something a little bit more complex and threatening, you're probably not going to get it. Loch Ness Duck. Gotta get closer for a selfie. But at the same time, the world is kind of expansive. Uh, I like I like the art style. It's very charming. Let's see. Get four comfy sweaters. Barracuda. Travel. I'll see if I can get the comfy sweaters. That's a woolly hoodie, but... That's not a comfy sweater. Okay, what, what can we sell here? Just the rainbow necklace I picked up. And like, the blueberries. And the fancy textiles. There we go. Now I've got more money than I know what to do with in this area, so let's just grab the jackalope paintings. And everything else. Yeah, unfortunately, I think you have to do quite a lot of stuff. Uh, to actually be able to progress here. Oh, there's a sea crate. And I can't move past that in the demo. You know, if you're looking for something to just like really zen out with, I think this very much ranks. Just in terms of like, oh, it's a cute little game. You load it up, you play, play around. You don't think too hard about what you're doing because there's no failure state. It is just... Zone City. And I think that's actually a really good thing. Okay, three golden stars, good boy park. Well, that one's always easy. 
Oh, let's see. But yeah, just buying buy low, sell high. It's not like the prices fluctuate too much. It's not <laughs> It's not like you have to worry about anything. There's no threats as far as I can tell. There's no pirates. I'm assuming some of these quests get a little bit more um maybe demanding later on. Like you really have to get quite a lot of resources or who knows what. But it's not any it's not the kind of thing that I'm going to well, I don't know. Oh, I see. Press F when you're uh, F to turbo. Got it. Magical journey. Got a lot of space now. And visit the Pastel Falls, which I have no idea where that is, but that's okay. And let's buy these. What do you think we can buy here? Oh, that's fine. I think this would have been the kind of game that I would have absolutely adored as a child. And maybe that's part of it is that, you know, uh, you know, my standards are unnecessarily high sometimes and I think that tinges my opinions oh that's a fishing spot and there's some mining to be done around here not that that matters too much I'd love to see uh, some kind of limitations things to work towards like uh, limited inventory space for example there we go oh we do actually have to throw money at that eh, that's fine Okay, these people like burgers. And lobsters. Not too high of a markup, to be honest. But I'm just kind of selling whatever. Ah, oh, Shark Knight. Crystal Shark. And the Tingling Bells. Okay. Oh, what is this? Fresh produce. Stowaway bandits are harmless. They just like carrots. What? Oh, it's a new blimp type. It might be. Coffee bean sack, imported from polar lands. Are these things that I can use on my ship? Ship customization, yes. <laughs> oh, and there's just dudes hanging off the side. I'm gonna stick with that and a flag. Oh. Well. I guess I know what I'm going to go with. And what's our anchor? Coffee. Of course. Well, that's heartwarming. I I adore the just absolute jumble of random balloons holding me aloft at this point. That is a nice touch. All right. Anyway, so charming little game. Definitely great if you're having kind of a bad day and you want to just like turn brain off, have fun, be peaceful and not worry about whatever. And I think there's very much a market for that kind of thing. One that I would honestly uh, laud. Too many games are very much focused on combat or strife or stress. And this one's just like, yeah, whatever. It's chill and I love that. Uh, but, oh, no, I haven't done either of these. Eh, it's fine. All right, anyway. So, with all that said, this demo is available as part of the Steam Next Fest if you're interested in giving it a shot. I don't think you're going to get too much more than what I've already shown, but at the same time, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the demo is just worth it from a, from a chill perspective. Uh, so, I guess with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games, hit subscribe because I got tons of them to check out. An endless amount, even. I'll probably come back for this one when it's actually done done in 1.0. I don't know if it's going to be doing early access. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, a couple months from now. Or I'm hoping, like, you know, take some time. Oh, we do have a giant. Oh, that's the giant wheel. Still don't know where to buy those, though. At least I can do that one real quick. And we've ranked up enough that I can actually uh, take all these quests. Rad. All right. So... With all that said, uh, I, I probably botched half my outro, but it's fine. Who, who cares? Most of you know the script. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I, I can't actually stop, which I guess is more of a sign. They figured out how to make this game psychologically addicting. That's what they've done. All right. Bye, everyone.